Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial we'll write a Python program to reverse a given string. So the input of our program is a string for example and the output of this program is we need to reverse this string. So first A comes here, next Y, next L, next U, next M, next A. Reverse of that. If I take another example, this is the input string and the output should be E comes first e m a n next space next y next m okay so this is the output of this program so to write this program first we need to take the input from the user and here the input is string we need to enter a string next we need to reverse that string and lastly we need to print the output so these are the three steps we need to follow while writing the program the first step is take the input from the user so let's do that open the python file and here to take the input from the user i'll use input function and to store user entered input i'm taking a variable name here i'll take variable name as str1 is equal to i'll use input function and here i'll write a message enter the string this message will display on the output screen here I'm using python 3 and in python 3 by default this input function will take input as the string value and here we want string input so no need to change anything here. So we are done with the first step that is taking the input from the user. Now user entered input will be stored in the variable str1. Next step is reverse the string. So we can do this that is reversing the string in different ways. Here we are using the slicing operator to reverse the string. From the slicing operation we can get the substring from the string and we can perform the slicing operation using the slice constructor or you can use the extended indexing. We can perform the slicing operation using these two methods but here we are using this extended index to perform the slicing operation. So the syntax of this is we need to mention start in the square bracket colon end colon step. Okay, so this is the syntax of uh, extended indexing. Here you need to mention the string which you want to slice and here you need to mention the index. In the index you need to mention start, colon, end, colon, step. So here start is nothing but from where you want to start the slicing operation. It is inclusive and end is nothing but where you want to stop the slicing operation. It is exclusive. Here step allows us to choose in which pattern you want to slice the string. The default value of step is 1. I'll show you the example then you'll understand how this slicing operation works. So here I'll take a string okay str2. Now if I want to get the substring from this you need to mention str2 that is the string which I want to slice then I need to mention the index here start end and step. The default value of step is uh, 1 if you didn't mention that it will take the step as 1. Now if I want to get mul from here okay the substring then I need to mention the index of m as the start value. So m index is 1. So I'll mention 1 colon and I need to mention the end value. So I want m u l. Index of l is 3 but here as I said end is exclusive you need to mention 4. If you mention 3 it will give m and u only. It won't give you l. If you want l then you need to mention 1 to 4. I won't take this step so it will take the default value. So here we will get m u l. Right. And if you mention the step, then if I take step as 2, here we can see first I'll get m, u is skipped here because here I took step as 2. So it will ignore u, it will print l. Here in the, the slice operation, start and step, all three are optional. For example, I can just write str2 and I can write like this. It will give entire string. Here I didn't mention the start value here I didn't mention the end value here I didn't mention the step value. So it will take the default value for start it will take from beginning. If I didn't take end it will take till last whole string. If I didn't take step it will take one so it will give entire string. If I didn't take start and if I take till four and if I enter it will take from a the first index. If I take start from two and I didn't take end if I just mention like this it will take till last if I didn't mention the start value or end value it will take from begin to end 
So this is the few things about the extended indexing and here one more important thing. You can take step as the negative value also. If you are taking the step value as negative, then the start value must be greater than the end value. Here, when we mention the positive value as step, here start value is smaller value and end value is the bigger value, right? But here, here if I'm taking this step as the negative value, here start value need to be greater value, end value need to be lesser value. Because here what we are doing is, when I mention step as 2, first it will print the str to 1. Next, it will add that step 2 to 1. So we'll get 3, right? So it will print str 2 of 3. So we have got L. When we take the positive value, we need to add the step to the start value. If you are taking negative value, that means we need to subtract the step value from the start value. So for that, the start value must be greater than the end value. For example, here I'll just take an example str2. Here if I take 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'll take from 4 and till 0. 0 will be exclusive. It will take till 0. And if I mention the index as a minus 1, it will take first y, l, u and m. Okay, it will print in the reverse order. So when I use the index as negative value, it will print the string in the reverse order. Now if I take from the starting, so I'll take, I don't take the start value, I won't take the end value. That means I want entire string. If I take the index as minus 1, it will give the reverse of complete string. Here you can see, right? That's what we are using here. We are using this index to reverse the string. Alright, so to reverse the string, we are taking the extended indexing. We are not taking value for start. We are not taking value for end. We are taking the step as minus 1 in the Python file. And here I need another variable to store the reverse string. So I'll take reverse. I'll take the variable name like this. And here I'll take str1, which I want to slice. Next here I'll take colon, that is I won't take the start value, I won't take the end value, I'll take step as minus 1. Next we are done with the second step that is reversing the string. So the last step is we need to print the output. To print the output I'll use the print function. I'll just print reversed string is here just print rev underscore str1. So let me execute this, save and execute, enter the string, so I'll enter Amulya and the reversed string is you can see here. So now if I take another example, my name is Amulya, here you can see first it is Amulya is name and my, all are in the reversed form. Okay, so in this way you can write the Python program to reverse the given string. So that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then, take care.